October 29th, it's designated World Psoriasis Day. In advance of that, we're talking about ways to manage the condition, especially as we enter a time of year where it becomes more and more difficult. As a patient, Sarah relates to that. Also with us, Dr. Mark Jackson, a clinical professor of medicine and dermatology at the University of Louisville. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. Sarah, I'm wondering about your story. When were you diagnosed and, and what's it like now living with psoriasis? So when I was seven, I was diagnosed with psoriasis. I had noticed raised red patches on my skin that were mm -hmm. itchy and so I went to a dermatologist and was diagnosed. Um, and psoriasis has definitely permeated a lot of parts of my life, such as relationships with friends and family, mm. being sometimes self-conscious when I go to the gym and people aren't really sure what's wrong with me or and I have to explain what psoriasis is and so it's definitely affected a lot of parts of my life. Dr. Jackson, would you help us understand um, what is psoriasis and then what are the symptoms if our viewers are wondering? Psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory condition and I think the important part for people to remember it's not an infection, it's, it's mm -hmm. inflammation that presents itself on the skin with thick, red, scaly plaques and these plaques can itch, they can bleed, they can, uh, they can cause pain. So it's a, it's, a, it's a very bothersome condition and we see it in about seven and a half million or up to that or even more uh, wow. patients that have it in a moderate to severe form in the United States. So it's, it's, it's pretty common. Why do fall and winter months present such a challenge for patients? What's the story? Is it the, the dry conditions that exacerbate psoriasis or what? Well, as, as we all know, winter is, winter is hard on our skin with the dry heat that comes from the furnace. We also see uh, trouble with just the, the cold outside and the wind can all, can all affect the skin and, and people uh, really need to moisturize and, and, uh, to, and our psoriasis patients have more trouble because their skin is already dry and scaly. Mm -hmm. So that's why we see it worsen during, during those times of the year. And good moisturizers with emollients or a little heavier base are very important. And if you can do that within about three minutes after ba bathing or showering, mm -hmm. it's, it, it, uh, it really helps replace that barrier that you've washed off that your skin needs during those times of the year. And the, the skin can receive the, the moisture a little bit better that way. What do you recommend in, in terms of treatment? I'm sure it's different patient to patient, but overall, what do you say if it is severe? If a, if a patient has severe psoriasis or moderate to severe psoriasis, we have some good agents that are available that they can take internally. We have an oral option like Otesla that Sarah has had success from, but there are some other agents that are available that are also very helpful. So I would encourage anybody with psoriasis to, to feel like they, they don't just have to live with it. There's some things that they can do that really impacts the condition, for, for the, which is very helpful for their life. Mm -hmm. If they need more information, they can go to psoriasis.org. If they want information on what, on what Sarah's taken, they can go to otesla.com, uh, which can give them more information as well. But they don't just have to struggle with the disease. Sarah, you said you were diagnosed at seven years old, so um, you've been living this journey mm -hmm. for a while now. What have you learned that you'd share with other patients yeah. um, also living with psoriasis? Definitely have those conversations with your dermatologist to find out what works best for you. I know during the fall and winter months, I take cold showers sometimes to prevent skin irritation. I manage my stress through working out or hanging out with friends. And so making sure you know what works best for you and being proactive and asking the right questions with your dermatologist, you can find a solution. We appreciate your time today, Sarah. Wish you the best. And doctor, thank you for joining us too. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Mike, over to you.